American Rifleman Television presents I Have This Old Gun. Hi, we're here at the NRA National Gun Show in Houston, Texas, and we've got a couple of very colorful Smith & Wesson Model 3 revolvers. Would you tell us your name and where you're from? Mary Jo Doggett. I'm from Manville, Texas. And Mary Jo, you brought us a couple of nice Smith & Wesson Russian models. Can you tell us uh, where you got these and a little bit about them? Well, I purchased them at a TGC auction at different times, and I think I paid about four or maybe four fifty for each. Well, they're both good, honest, Old West-looking guns. They're the Smith & Wesson Model 3 Russian. This is the third model, or the new model Russian. They're a top-break, single-action revolver. Very popular design in the 1870s. Uh, they're a very colorful revolver. They're called the Russian model because of a large order by the Russian government that uh, required the unusual design of the large knuckle in the back strap and the trigger guard spur, in addition to specifying the cartridge, which became known as the 44 Russian cartridge. However, they also enjoyed strong sales in the United States in the 1870s and have a strong association of usage in the uh, American West, including Texas. These guns both look like nice Old West guns mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. uh, they've both seen a lot of use and abuse. I believe both guns are refinished. Uh, this one is missing the disassembly screw on the top strap. This one in particular has had the trigger guard spur cut off of it, as you can see compared to this one. Uh, and they did that to make it more handy, uh, to where that wouldn't hang up on the holster or on their clothing. It has some nice old ivory grips that have aged very nicely. They are missing some chunks out of them, but still colorful yeah. ivory grips. So a lot of the legitimate Old West uh, Russian models you see will have that removed. I think uh, the guns are very similar in terms of value and desirability. Mm -hmm. This is a good, honest old gun. Both have been refinished a long time ago. Both have been re-nickled. I think these are guns, each of which probably retails today somewhere in the uh, 600 to 750, maybe $800 range. A couple of nice old uh, Old West type guns. And Mary Jo, I appreciate you bringing right. them in. Thank, Thank you, you much. Thank you very much. I appreciate the information. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, session of I Have This Old Gun.